Hey everyone, it is Char from Char's Fashionation. And as you can see right here, right here, what is on here? Half of a skirt for the, um, oh, I almost said the wrong place. Excuse me. The Fabric Mart and McCall's Vogue Pattern 1671 Challenge. Obviously, this pocket lays a lot nicer. It's much more hidden pocket. I just have it pinned this way with the waistband pin. Um, so, I've got this piece stitched on here. And the hemming is rather nice. It is nice on the inside. And now I'm using a dark gray threading. And why? Because should anything show on the outside of this, you really won't see it. Now, this is really nice. Right? And you're not seeing the threading here. The only place that if you're putting your, your face in my pocket, which you will get a hit for that, um... <laughs> No one comes up on my pockets. Um, I'm not a violent person, but I'll tell you what. Come up on my pocket. Get your face snatched off. Um, <laughs> so, I ha this is the front, obviously. And then, with the back of the pocket, you, you're not really going to see that. So, um... Even though this came in right here a little bit. Let me do this for the other camera too. Because my other camera really isn't able to see as much as this one. Um, so. We'll adjust that. Um, so right here as you can see. It's kind of only tugged and puckered a bit. Not even worried about that. Um, why? Because I have the other piece of 10 of the cut for 10 to do. And this is a tube. I only have to sew that on to this piece. Pin that over here. You know, put it on backwards, obviously. But I'm just showing you how clean the pocket And this piece for the front looks, okay? Now, it's always good to do a mock-up. Now, this this called for actually... I need to clip some of these threads away. This actually called for um, going ahead, and I thought it was strange, uh, going ahead and um, taking up your hemline at the bottom of this and I was like why are we going to do this without completing the skirt because I just want to sew it all the way around I mean I guess it sort of makes sense but at the same time I don't think it really goes with the direction of the waistbanding yet which seems to be on a slight curve but you know what um we're going to get through this. We're just going to knock this out. So, I I slept in a little today on purpose. Um, as you guys know, I've been struggling with my epilepsy again. So, we're not going to make that an issue here. Um, but I'm staying positive by sewing. And that is my agenda. Um is go ahead and stitch that other part on today right down the, the middle here. Um, which means the rough part here from the flu boo won't even show. Won't even have to see that. Um, <laughs> why? Um, let me get a drink of water. Uh, I love my water.
and it happens to be rather warm because with fibroid melja you tend to get cold. Uh, yeah, you do tend to get cold. <clears throat> so, as you can see, I have this already sewn and turned the right way. I know you're always saying, why don't you just iron that? Because I've never taken my little tiny iron out. I bought it to use it, but for some reason I've not used it. I don't know why. I just have no idea why. Um, so what I'm going to do today is obviously this is what I've done with this piece and I'll show you I started pinning this from the bottom up okay I'm gonna do the pin from the top down but then when you reach the bottom that's not gonna be so darn even especially after you do that fourth step fourth of an inch stitch at the bottom of your skirt it's not going to matchy match the top part of your skirting so what I do is I take my fourth of an inch up on the bottom and then attach and then sew it because it already calls for taking this part up one fourth of an inch on the machine and then you know I always have my sewing pins available for this um I found these at the Hobby Lobby I love the Hobby Lobby so I have two of these now now this one's hard to get open I had that problem with this but eventually it will give and I found these beautiful scissors right at the front registers. Now, if you couldn't find something and maybe they have it at the front register, no, I only hold my scissors a specific way, which is how I was taught how to hold these so that, you know, it's in your hand firmly, but you're not necessarily gripping it a specific way which may harm you um that's how i was taught to hold my sewing scissors and any other scissors so um so you gotta see that there um i'm still working on that you know my guy ashley used to sit down in my lap and now it's like up here um i literally lost some weight my gain, my lose, my thyroid. <laughs> That's exactly what it is. Like, my thyroid. The thyroid is actually the thermostat to the body. And it helps you to also control your vision and your train of thought and everything else. So, um, also another good thing for that is foot soap bath. <gasps> But we'll get into that on health talk um because this was all about the yellow dress challenge today challenge yourself to go outside the box i did come upon another youtube channel where she came across a butterick that wasn't made for a big gal it's supposed to be but it's not we big busty gals will teach you. That's for sure. We will teach you what actually does and does not fit. So, um, on our front, this is our front right here. This is our front panel. This is our number eight. And then we just want to roll that. Now, normally, I don't pin this. I can just eye this and sew. Um, I don't think there's enough light in here today because it's raining. I don't like the fact that it's raining, but it's raining. Um, 
So, yeah. For the sake of on here. Um. <laughs> uh, let me make sure. This is something I'll do sometimes. Is like, take it over and then make sure that I'm only taking in a specific amount of skirting fabric. You know, like I said, this this isn't necessarily sheer, but I don't do lining unless I just don't do lining. Sorry, everyone. Um, you might be thinking, well, that goes against the rules of sewing. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Not if you don't like this stuff. I mean, I'll line some things, just not everything. I'm aligned with myself and knowing how I like my stuff some. There you go. That's that's lined. <laughs> oh you can laugh. You can laugh about that. So anyway, for my Instagram people, I want you to stay happy, stay healthy, stay positive, and as always stay blessed because I will see you for so and show later because I have to cut you guys a little short for this but I hope you have enjoyed for Instagram seeing how this is coming along and I have to tag McCall's and I have to take Fabric Martin that one as well as this one so I will see you guys later for that oh and possibly even Mood Fabric even though this is my um Oh, this is my Sam's fabric fabric. <laughs> All right, Instagram, see you soon. Okay, now that we're to YouTube, and I was looking for my phone, like, my phone's right here. Um, <laughs> have you ever done that? Like, you're on your device, you're like, where the heck is it? I never did find those other glasses. My other glasses that disappeared. Never. They're not in the house anywhere. I asked me where those went. I have no idea. But these glasses work. Um, Visionworks is a great place to get your glasses. Not a sponsor. But it's a great place to get your glasses, you know. Hey. <laughs> Makes you able to see better. Um, I know that when I have to go get my eyes checked again, they will let me know when they're having their buy one, get one. And then they told me that, um, and I put money aside for this because, heck, yeah. I can choose two different frames. Um, get my eyes checked, and that's at no cost to me. And then these will be like my backups. And, or I can just start my eyewear collection. There you go start my eyewear collection. You know, I actually thought about that. Have an eyewear collection um, of my prescription lens. Um, that way I can style my day with whatever I want to wear and have a good pair of glasses that I can match up with anything. Think about that. Think about that, my friends. How many of us YouTube creators wear glasses? And it's not just for reading. These are bifocals. So these are not just for reading. These are for both. I have to wear them and they're for reading. So whew, it's a double. And I have no problem with that. Absolutely not. Okay, did I do that all the way? 
No, on the back. I'm just checking on the back. Um, no. Only did it to a point, which is to where this hemline is. See what I mean about these hemlines? Aren't they nice? They're nice. That is one thing I do like about my machine. It does a beautiful hemline. Um, and I do love that. I do love it. Now, I haven't used my other walking foot. That that big one. I haven't even used the antique one I got from that sweet little lady. Which, you know, I think I might must go into that flea market this year. Because, like, I always liked her. That's where I got the fabric for my western duster. It's that sweet little old lady. Um, so, okay. We're going to come over here. Because I can do this with you guys longer for YouTube than I can for Instagram, which is a shame. I just really wish Instagram would step up there. Okay, you guys know sewing areas. It's kind of messy. 